Hey there YouTube, this is a 1971 Econoline 200. It is an amazing camper van. See the pop is topped, the top is popped. Spare tire on the back, all the tires are in amazing condition. The whole van runs amazingly. It's less than 6,000 miles on the tires. I went on a road trip up and down Highway 1 to Burning Man and uh, put about 6,000 miles on that. Before that though I got it in tip top shape, replaced everything that I could and even some things I didn't need to. Uh, and I built a huge awning which is put in that tube right there so that when I parked at Burning Man for nine days I could have some shade. I put in three batteries three uh, double, uh, you can kind of see the battery bank in there, uh, deep cycle batteries for major power, more power than I could ever need. Here's the inverter right here, 1500 watt inverter. Uh, turn that on and boom, you got power on this power strip. If you needed, if you were going to connect, be parked outside someone's house, you can plug in right here. Uh, this is a different circuit of power, not connected to that power strip. Uh, it has all these other outlets. See, there's an outlet, there's an outlet over there, underneath that shelf. There's an outlet for this space heater right down here. There's an outlet for... There's another outlet some around here somewhere. I can't remember where it is. Oh, it's underneath the sink um, for the microwave easy access. Oh, and there's also the refrigerator is plugged into the outlet as well. Um, everything works. The refrigerator, if it's on someone's house power, you flip it down to AC. If you want to run it off the battery, the battery bank, flip it to DC, and ba-boom, you got some cool air coming through. The microwave, right there, if you want to get that microwave running, you just gotta plug it in right here and boom microwave is a rolling great for popcorn on the road ding unplug that the propane stove of course it's not only a stove it's also a heater very efficient. I can't believe how efficient propane has been. We filled it up once, put in about $12 worth of propane to fill up the tank, and that was all we need. We made rice a million times. Uh, we ate for three months, and we used it to heat the place once in a while. But boom, and we have fire. All three burners work, of course. It's a wonderful, wonderful van. This even even comes with a little fan right here, the little switch. Boom, boom. Got the switch. This hand pump right here has a 10-gallon water reservoir underneath the sink. Get the, get the pump flowing. I filled it with some Sedona spring water. Check out findthespring.com and you can find spring water all over. No chlorine, no fluorine, just delicious pure water. And this is for this sink is for if you plug it into somebody's hose, which is not nearly as good a water as that. The uh, front seat, of course. Here's here's the mileage number, if you can see it. And that there is no one in front of that, and nor does there need to be. I uh, talked to the mechanics; they are positive that it does not have more than 100,000 miles on it. it is only 93,000 miles on it. You can see the wiring is kind of crazy, but we got a, a working radio, a handbrake. The, that's where the uh, flashers are if you want to put on high beams. Windshield wiper, lights. Uh, we have all sorts of other stuff. What else do we have? Look at that awesome leather interior. It's got a really cool leather, and I don't think that there's a scratch on the leather anywhere. 
perfect condition on the doors on these doors on the back doors oh I know I gotta show you how easy it is to pop down the top check this out all you gotta do there's these two handles right here there's one there's the other you just you just pull them down boom and then you latch it right here which is I can even do it with one hand not too difficult at all this one my curtain rods a little bit in the way ah. But boom, and then you have it. And to pop it, it's too easy. It pops up on its own pretty much. And woo! Pretty sweet, right? I mean, come on, it doesn't get better than this. I'm 6'3 and I can stand up on it. And I can even lay down on the bed. Oh, which is one more thing to show you. It's this couch. Of course, see? It's got these little legs down here that you can just flip down, no problem. And then you just pull out the couch, see if I can get a larger view of this couch. It's a little dark, but you just pull it out. I think I needed a third person to do that, show, show you how easy that was. But boom, you got a full size bed. I'm 6'3", I can lay uh, heel to, to head right here, no problem. Uh, it's amazing. I never thought I'd find a bed that I would fit on in, inside a van like this. So yeah, there it is, Ford Econoline. I'll try to give you a full circle of the outside. Great condition. All the tires are in awesome condition. It's got some vents for the um, refrigerator. I'm sure this video is more than long enough for you to get the gist that this van is badass. Thank you.